So guys, out and about on a bit of an exploration and uh, bearing in mind we've lived in this area for 18 years and then mountains in the distance of the back is where we live and this is on a route, we've been out uh, around a local market and we've had uh, a coffee and a mooch around and bought a takeaway chicken to get back and I just saw on the map, on Google Maps, when I was looking for places and areas to sort of travel on uh, the new bike and getting the Vos 300 rally and it popped up, at, it said a circuit on the map, so I zoomed in and this, it, it from all the Google comments on this place it was used extensively up to about four years ago and i think it's been controlled by the ayuntamiento of uh, which is the town hall of calaspara there's no offices or hut or anything here but you can see some of the jumps and burns are, are roped and chained off uh, but it's an extensive motocross circuit that uh, has got a lot a lot of tire marks on it so i'm assuming that people are using it using certain parts of it that are not chained off and to be honest there's a sign saying it's prohibited to use this without permission of the ayuntamiento the town hall but as you can see we've recently had a lot of rains in spain you'll notice if uh, you've been watching the news and you're keeping up with current events that we've had some torrential rain and looking at the tracks it's clear that there are lots and lots of new tyre tracks on this uh, circuit, so it's extensively used. You can see there's some great turns and burns on there, going down that one there. There are sections that are closed off, so they're chained up. Uh, so certain sections are chained up, maybe because they're extremely high jumps, I don't know. That, looking across there, there's a chain of some tyres. And each section where there's a chain and a tyre seems to be closed off, but the other areas seem to be uh, quite open uh, so I don't know whether people actually come up and use it with permission or without permission it's in the middle of pretty much a natural area of pines and trees there's my wife over by the bike uh, we're out on the Vosges 900 DSX stunning bike and the good thing about the Vosges 900 DSX especially for me is it's uh, settled down now and you can uh, I can flat foot both sides on the ground I'm um, 5 foot 10 with uh, a ins shortish inseam, so I've got stumpy legs really, so inseam of about 31. But uh, yeah, my wife on the back, it, I can flat foot it quite easily, but it's uh, it's a cracking bike. But yeah, very interesting. So hopefully, I was hoping to pick the Vosges 900 Rally up today. Uh, I went and paid for it yesterday. And I'll put a, a link in this video about uh, the reason I bought it. I was looking at second-hand bikes with the idea of renting them out on uh, these tours that we're planning to do and uh, the insurance companies who do uh, EU Share as a company I've been looking at and they, they factor in a fully comprehensive insurance system into the bike they take payment, they then pay me and take a, a charge for organising it all but it's uh, Alliance who do the insurance and it's fully comp so the bike's fully covered and that will be a way of uh, circumnavigating the extreme difficulties with insurance also, the idea behind using them is that uh, it's going to make it easier for you guys because you're going to be covered. There's a lot more cover on the insurance they're offering than I could possibly offer in any way. And uh, that's probably going to be the best way to go. But one of the reasons, like I said, we get this new Vos 300 Rally is the fact that it stipulates on their site that all bikes have to be 15 years old or newer anything older than that older than that they won't insure like classic bikes my uh, ducati and the motor Guzzi won't be assured on this system i won't be able to do it so yeah uh, i'll post a link to what they're calling in spain a black friday sale of the vosges 300 rally and it's phenomenal guys it really is the list price is something like 4,400 euros, which will come in in the UK at about 3,008 maybe, 3,009. So similar price to what you're looking at in the UK, with plus on-road costs, obviously. Uh, but they're offering a 600 euro discount, so they're actually selling the bike now for something like 3,800 euros. And when you convert that to sterling, it's 3,200 pounds sterling. So it was only for one week, or a week and a little bit to the 7th of December the offer closes and they're quite hard to get hold of they've got to be ones that's in stock in the dealerships once the in stock have gone they'll be the new bikes coming in in February 2025 and I've managed to bag an, uh, a grey and yellow one and I'll uh, put the pictures in the uh, description or put them somewhere in this video so you can take a look and I'll 
put the uh, advert for the bikes in the description as well and a link to the web page so you can also take a look if you're in Spain you've still got a week or so to grab one of these if you can get older one guys so uh, take a look at the video and uh, let me know what you think anyway back on the bike and we'll get home and have some lunch uh, give me a like subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up button helps me a great deal guys and uh, I'll catch you in the next one peace out take care